Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior Online. Guys, today we are playing the Vindicator. So for all of you guys who really want a mobile MRM throwing thing uh, that is in a medium Mac bracket, don't look at Shadowhawks, don't look at Wolverines, don't look at Griffins, look at the Vindicator 1X because that thing is a monster. It is only 45 tons and you might say, why would I take a 45 tonner? A 55 tonner has more armor and more weight and everything and you can deal more damage. No, the Vindicator is quirked to the max and therefore it's really, really good. Now let's take a look at that. We got an energy cooldown of negative 20%, we got PPC velocity, we got energy heat reduction of 20% and then more importantly missile cooldown 25%. And when you take a look at that here, base armor plus 18 on the torso, plus 16 on the arms, plus 17 on the legs, that thing has 84 armor points on the center torso. Let me quickly go over and uh, show you a griffin with a similar build, okay? Um, let's go up here to the, let's say, 1S... Let's take a look at that. That's a 55 toner. That has 72 on the front. I mean, that's like uh, 83 overall, like all around, back and front. And it's slower than the Mac that we are riding with a similar loadout. So, Vindicator 1X, one of the most beautiful light Macs, uh, sorry, medium Macs in the world. And um, I'm going to show you how to play it today, guys. You can be very aggressive with it because of the armor that the Mac brings. We have three jump jets to keep the Mac mobile. We have an MRM-40 as our main weapon. Again, keep in mind, negative 25% uh, cooldown. That makes the weapon fire very, very fast and you can be very aggressive with it. We also have uh, four tons of MRM ammo, 10 for like each 10 tubes. Uh, wait, one ton for each 10 tubes, and we got two medium lasers for additional damage, we got a bunch of heat sinks, and then light machine guns. Why light machine guns? Because, I mean, we can also take a look at that, there's also something like a machine gun rate of fire quirk, there's somewhere hidden in here, there it is, 30%, which means uh, we can soften up the enemies and then completely freak them out with our fast firing machine guns, and get some criticals, uh, make them... Just get away from us when we need to, because sometimes people are getting really freaked out when they are getting shot by machine guns, because it could be a piranha or something, and it's a very good psychological weapon. Now, that being said, let's go over and take a look at the skills here. You can see we have invested all the points into the firepower and then a bit into survivability here. I wanted to make my missile weapon to fire as efficiently as possible. Therefore, high explosive, missile spread, and then missile rack so that we can even have more ammo in the late game. And then cooldown, 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 as well as heat chance so that we can keep the mech cold. Um, we got a good chunk of armor quirks, makes sense to just invest into armor skills to improve them even further. This is how we get so many armor points for the 45 ton mech here. And then we use a jump jet today, because I want to be very mobile. Jumping around is a big part of our defense here. And, um, you know, we have three jump jets and we're going to amplify them with vent calibration, heat shielding and so on. So I can be very active with the jump jets as well. You will see that, especially in the first game, that these jump jets are going to be so helpful. We also use cool run. Maximum cool run, no heat containment, only the heat containment notes that we get on the way down here. So I'm gonna leave these notes open because I don't necessarily need them. But rated deprivation is extremely helpful. And then we have one value point in the consumable slot here in the auxiliary tree. So we can have, I think, a cool shot and a UAV together. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We'll definitely go over right here because I want to be very, very active with my little Vindicator. And yeah, we got a bunch of missiles. We got 1600 explosive warheads that I want to drop on my enemies' heads. So do I push them directly? I think so. My Wolverine is doing it as well. Um, all right, pack life. Back life? Pacifica? I don't know what your, what your name is. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go in. I will go for heat vision so I can actually see. Shoot some missiles there, hit them. And yeah, what we're gonna be doing is uh, probably just a good chunk of jumping around and uh, shooting missiles at our enemies. Oh, he's actually waiting for us. Okay, that's good. Let's completely push through. They will never see it coming. All right, again jumping and shooting, that's what we do. It's going for me. That's nasty. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so he got a new... No, he didn't get a new target. He's really on me. Holy crap, could you not? They are, they are really going for me here. But yeah, now they can't anymore. Component destroyed, that's good. And now we go in and we get the kill. Get the hopper now. Okay. 
Um, definitely want to grind through his armor. Definitely want to go in like that. And we got two kills. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go back to normal vision. So I don't need heat vision anymore because I now know where the enemies are. And uh, I can play according. Look at how little damage I took. Just by jumping around, just by using my armor. And I have, I have a lot of armor. Um, all right, all right, all right. Uh, shoot the Kodiak. We're going to dive down to cover because I think we have attracted a lot of firepower on the high ground there. Uh, okay, target. we're gonna Acquired. keep pushing them though. Okay, just random targets. Acquired. It's another grasshopper. And they have a lot of metal on the board. Okay, Acquired. more missiles. Good. I think I need to go back to heat vision so I can distinguish Acquired. my enemies a little bit better from the ground. And he shut down. Okay, we got him. We got him, we got him, we got him. We didn't get him. Acquired. Okay, I thought we would. Here comes the Kodiak though. Oh, holy crap. No, 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 no. That is a big no-no for me. Okay, three and zero. Let's go in. Here's the grasshopper. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna shoot the machine guns now so that the, the Kodiak is hopefully just disengaging. And he's afraid of her being pushed by a piranha. So I'm not gonna push to the right side because Kodiak is scary if I'm getting too close. Um, I'm gonna go in here. Alright, uh, yeah, that's a hell spawn that we can kill. Uh, not quite. Okay, we got a machine guns. We're doing it their duty. And here comes a rifleman. Hello, rifleman. You're also pretty, pretty dead. I think so. Yeah, you are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he is a stick. I don't need to care about him anymore. Because he has no weapons. Let's go for the people who actually have some. Again, the machine guns are just to annoy the enemies. Ammo, ammo, ammo at what percent? Oh, oh, I'm also getting shot in the back. Why? Is the Kodiak still here? Kodiak probably dropped to the bottom, to the, you know, basement here. I'm gonna go in. Uh, it's the last two enemies alive. One is definitely there. It's a Timber Wolf. And then yet again, we have a Kodiak that is still missing. Um, I don't know if he got killed or if he tried to bail. If I was him, I would have probably gone either this way or to the right side here. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see guys aggression You can do so much with the vindicator because it has so much armor so much mobility constantly jumping up and down really helps so that you can distract the enemies and work against their aim Where's the freaking last guy? Huh? Where are you hiding buddy? Come on tell us We need to know disconnected. No, he's still there He's still there not only he plays here. That's right. It's a team effort, guys. It's always team play. Okay, let's check the basement again. Maybe he shut down. Maybe he shut down and is trolling us. Bravo 4, you say? Okay. The last is a DC? I don't know. Alright, we check out Bravo 4. Uh, it's up there. Then we're gonna push through this exit. Huh. Was it a friendly hello from the Mad Cat? I don't know. Yeah, but let's check Bravo 4. And uh, see if we can find him. He seems to be AFK. And yes, honestly, the NASCAR was well executed. When you take a look at chat, uh, they are completely right. Yes, we uh, pushed two of them. Actually, we pushed three of them to death. That was a Grasshopper, a Jägermeg, and then things escalated like crazy. Oh, he's still here. Okay. It is a heavy PPC. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's go. I mean, he will run hot eventually. Uh, he's doing a very nice last stand there with the artillery, even getting a kill. That's that's good. Good for him. Okay, I'm gonna go in completely now. Let's just not mess with him. Just go in and try to get the kill here. Brrr, machine guns, not for the win. All right, pretty good round. We still have 200 missiles left. It's not much. <laughs> I know and a thousand shots for the machine guns, but I would say like every single weapon system that we had here were well, was doing the their, their, their work three killing blows eight assists We got four kill most damage dealt an exact thousand damage 321 taken and that's for a 40 toner. Sorry 40 45. I don't know uh, five components destroyed here we go, guys. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing, uh, what is that, Skirmish? Okay, so that's gonna be an interesting game. Um, let's see what we have. It doesn't seem like we have many Assault Makes. Only one King Crab. I mean, it is a King Crab, honestly. That's good. It's a 100 honor. And it is the Kaiju. I think it's actually one of the better King Crabs. And then there's a Knight Jir. There is a Catapult. I see a Jaguar. All of these guys really 
really don't like to push usually. Like the mech types in general. Really don't like to push. Okay, got my assist on the piranha. Um, if you can take or get some early damage out against targets that you can already see so that you get the assist and that gives you money in the end. Alright, also press R. R gives you a lot of money. UAV up in Delta 4. Um, can we take it? It's important that we get it down kind of now. Okay, but also we need to keep moving and I don't want to get stuck. Holy crap. Ah, that's not good. That is not good. Acquired. I'm multi panicking. Uh, high ground Echo 4. Was a sniper. A texture center. Ooh, the Niger. Look at that. All the missiles here. This is actually it's beneficial to us if we have some missile support. If it's all of us being missiles, then of course that's not that great. Uh, go for Fafni first. Fafni. Uh, okay. I guess you get the obvious targets right in front of you then. Alright, I want to get some cover. I don't want to be exposed like that. Let's go over here. It is super important that we also not block our assault mech, so I'm gonna go behind them. Uh, let's take it slow here. I, I don't want to go into the, the big bulk of enemies. Instead, I will try to get myself like a high ground situation here. We can pop part, so we will. That was not a good shot, though. Okay, let's go. Speaking of exposure, I got all of it. Okay, bit of damage falling down. And I would say this is where we win by just being aggressive. Uh, let's take his arm. Medium pulse lasers and quite a good chunk of them. Okay, let's take this arm. Ultra down. Side torso as well. Can we get him? I think aggression is actually how we... Oh, nice. Uh, how we win here. Oh, crap, I'm stuck. That's not good. Okay, so we have to kind of move with our feet now. Okay. Got that guy. Here's my friend, the other guy. Just staring at him like a madman. And okay, UAV up because I want to see what else is going on around us. Madcat do dove down, that's good. Hi, Victor. Please don't kill me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. LB20. He's also quite scared, though. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. No, I don't get out of here because I am out of health. I'm out of legs, actually. Okay, I can still shoot. That's the good news. But, 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 my damage output is gonna be so minimal. They do a good job trying to destroy my other leg there. Oh, boy. All right. I'm trying to be helpful. Get him, boys. Okay, we got this kill, but, 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 there is still so much going on everywhere. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Please don't hit my leg. Okay. Heavy PPC plus something. I'm gonna help out against the Mad Cat now. Okay, seven and nine. We are actually losing this. Actively lose. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. Positioning is key now. Hello, Nova Cat. What do you bring? LB20s? It's fine. Ish. Ooh, and then there's a Wolvie. Let's try to take a kill. This is still going on. Wait, this guy was damaged. Oh, they got me. They got me. It's not GG already. Don't call GG in a situation where it's 10-10. Guys, super, super important. Maybe you can still finish it. Try to motivate your team instead of demotivating them. Oh, wait, no, it's... Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's the enemy saying GG. Okay, never mind. Ah, no, no. Okay, I didn't say anything. Actually, no, I stand by my point here. The point is still the same, but I didn't see that it was an enemy saying GG already. Uh, I don't think it, it is necessarily a GG. Uh, yeah, the Warhammer is very beat up. Take him first if you can. Um, the Nova Cat was double LB20. Good shot. Yeah, you can take him. Good job, man. Uh-oh. Oh, there comes the other guy. <laughs> now it's GG. <laughs> Very good game. I like it being close, really. Um, the lagging was my demise here. That was the problem. Um, because I lost my complete mobility, I was only just reacting to what's going on. Uh, very close around me, and I couldn't really play on my terms anymore, which was a bit of a problem. But hey, we did it. We got one killing blow. I mean, we didn't win, but, you know, we did a good chunk of damage here. One killing blow, six assists, one kill most damage dealt, 735. We took 458. That's for a 45-ton mech. And then uh, we got five components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can also support me on Patreon, helping me out doing what I'm doing here. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.